going on everybody out there in YouTube land? How's everybody doing this wonderful day? So, a couple months back or something like that, I was online somewhere or something like that, and I came across a color that I had never heard of or seen before, and I had to look it up. And that color is called Blown Motor. And the thing is, what I saw online, and I actually looked it up, like different pictures of it, it looks like some people like do like a brownish color, you know, it looks like motor oil and stuff like that. And then they mix three different kinds of flakes. They mix black, silver, and copper. And that's where you get your blown motor pieces and stuff like that. I don't know if you've ever seen a blown motor, but there usually is a lot of silver in it, you know what I mean? So, but the thing is, is like I saw browns and stuff like that on there, but I thought I have the two perfect colors to do that recipe with. I actually happen to have two motor oils. So I actually have motor oil from Lure Works, and then I have motor oil from MF. And I thought we would mix up some plastic. All this recipe is gonna be with a cup of plastic. I'm using Dead On Plastics Crawl and Tube, and we're gonna shoot two awesome molds. We're gonna shoot this awesome Anglin AI Grass Grenade 3.25. I love that one. Makes a really good trailer for using on jigs and stuff like that. And then we're gonna do the four inch knuckle dragger. Awesome, another awesome bait. I love this bait. A lot of plastic. It's very fun to shoot, very easy to shoot. And yeah, what else can I say? But let's get to cooking some plastic. Let's get to mixing some colors. One injector today, no dual injector, no fancy stuff. Solid color. So let's get to cooking. All right, everybody, so this has been cooked. I thought we would do the lure works first since we haven't seen that one before here so I don't know let's start off with 10 drops see what happens eight nine ten oh oh that's like a red color look at that that's cool that's really cool check that out how that handles hot So I went with 10 more drops. We're just trying to build up our color here. See how dark we want to make it. This is a cup of plastic. Still pretty thin. I can still see it pretty good on my knife there. See that? I'll do 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 30 drops. That's where I'm going to leave it. So I can still see my butter knife through it, but I think I think that's gonna look good like in the claw parts or whatever, the creature crawl, claws or whatever. So, all right, one cup of plastic. I'm gonna do a full quarter teaspoon of .040 black glitter. And then, I'm actually gonna get my other teaspoon here. Sorry for reaching across the camera. I'm gonna do a I'm going to do an eighth of a teaspoon of the silver. And then we'll do another eighth of a teaspoon. Silver was 0 0.15 and this is 0 0.15. No, sorry. It's 0 0.015. My bad. One, one eighth teaspoon of that. This is going to give us our blown motor. Do a little drizzling over top of the glitter. That's a lot of glitter. Oh, wow. That's cool looking. Check that out. Yeah, that's cool. Got plenty of silver and plenty of copper in there. I want to say I need more. I don't know. We don't need more black. We're just going to go with it. All right, so that's our color. This is the Lure Works one. 30 drops in that right there. And I am going to heat this back up and vacuum it. And then uh, we'll get to shooting. All right, everybody. So our cup of plastic is up to, up to uh, temperature here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like some green hue in that. I can't wait to see these, actually, after I shoot them in the mold. Let's put that over there. And here we go. First one. Oh, this injector feels great because I just put new O-rings inside it. Oh, it's shooting great. Pull a little pressure. Build up. 
that was the knuckle dragger now we're doing the grass grenade takes way less plastic fill that one up oh I just love when you just have a solid color it's so much easier to do and then we'll put the rest of it back in there there we go so on this injector I don't know if you guys can see that or not but there's like some green green brown with a little bit of red and everything pretty neat color but we'll let them cool down for a few minutes and I'll get back with you here in just a few seconds or a few minutes I mean for the review all right let's check these out let's do the grass grenades first so let's put that back a little bit let's see how they're gonna open oh I'm gonna open this side all right oh yeah those look great check those out everybody those are amazing that's cool. So there is some green tint to it. Let's take these out of the mold. Check that out. Can you see those? Is that a little too close? There we go. Let's fix that one. Those look amazing. Yes. That blown motor looks really awesome. Let's take them off the sprue. Yeah, those are cool. I like them. Let's set these to the side for a second. All right, let's try the knuckle dragger and see how it did. All right, let's see which way it's going to come. It's going to come out on this side, maybe. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, those look great. Check those out. I think you guys can see that green tint to them. That's cool. Yeah, I like those a lot. Let's take them off there. Shot perfect. Yeah, those are cool. Those are definitely going to catch fish. I can't wait to use them. Heck yeah, man. All right. Those came out great. So I'm going to put them in the water for a few minutes, get them on the rack, and I'm going to get ready to start mixing our next color. So give me just a few minutes, and I'll be right back. All right, we got our second color up to temperature here. Give it a little bit of stirs. So next is the motor oil. Grab my rag here. So I did uh, 30 drops with the uh, Lure Works. Let's do 20 and see what happens on this one first. So one, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I think I'm gonna need more than that. Actually, I think I need to cook this a little more. Let me see what's going on here. I thought it was fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. So that's 20 drops right there. Still see through it. Let's do 10 more. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 10 more. I think that's what we're going to stick with. So both of them are going to be at 30 drops. So I'm going to put this back in the microwave for a few seconds. I think it's starting to set up on me there. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Just a little bit of stir. Now it's time to put our glitter in there. So we're going to do a quarter teaspoon on the black flake. Once again, 0 0.040. 1.0. Quarter teaspoon of that. And we're gonna do an eighth of a teaspoon of the silver. I'm sorry, not silver, uh, copper. Silver is coming up. Oop. I don't want that to mix in with my silver. Well, let me grab my rag real fast. Wipe that off a little bit. There we go. And then an eighth teaspoon of the silver. And there we go. There's blown motor in MS motor oil. Stir this up a little bit. Do a little drizzling. Oh yeah, that's a cool color. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh yeah, that's cool. Check that out. 
I like it. I like it. I'm going to put it back in the microwave for a few more seconds, and then we're going to vacuum it, and then we'll get to shooting these molds again. I'll be back. All right, we got this back up to temperature. It is 347 degrees, which is really close to 350. Put my glove on here. Let's shoot this. Oh. Okay, have a little pressure on that. Go up to the top there. Onto the grass grenade. Hold a little pressure. Go to the top there. All right, we will we will let them cool down for a few minutes, and I'll show you what they look like here in just a few minutes. All right, let's check these out. Let's do the knuckle draggers first. Come on, get off her. All right, here we go. There we go. Oh, two of them are doing good. Oh, wow. Yeah, those look awesome. Those look really good. Check those out. What do you guys think about those? So this is the MF motor oil. Let's take these out and check them out for a second. Oh, yeah, they shot perfect. Look at that. That's cool. Let's take them off the runner here. Oh yeah, those are those are definitely cool. All right, we'll just set them right there for a second. Let's get the grass grenades out. Check them out. Oops. All right, here we go. I just spun that around a bunch. Sorry about that. Oh, there we go. So come on this side. Oh, those look great. What do you think? Those look really cool. Let's get them out. Check that out. Can you see the green in there? That's pretty cool. Let me get them off the runner here. Lay them in my hand. Yeah. Those are really cool. I like them. I like them both. That's really awesome. So you know what's cool about making baits? Is you can do anything you want like you could take the lure works and the mf motor oil and mix them together so we're going to cook this up stir it up and see what it looks like i'll be right back in just a few minutes let me get this going so i got this up to temperature and this is what it looks like right there i can see a lot of red in it so maybe the red's dominating the other other part of uh mf's uh, motor oil but let's shoot and see what happens here A little bit of pressure. And we'll move on to these ones. Put a little bit more pressure. Top these off. Put the rest of it back in here. Cool. So I can see a lot of that green in there now. Look at that. That's cool. That's cool. I will let these cool down for a few minutes and then we'll open them up and see what they look like. All right, let's see what these look like. So these are both uh, motor oils mixed together, Lure Works and MF. And we'll see how they look like. Looks like we're gonna do the Grass Grenade 3.25 first. Oh yeah, those look cool. Oh yeah, you can see a lot of red, a lot more red in it. And then you get the green sheen to it. Oh yeah, those are really cool. Let's take those out and take a look at them. Oh yeah, those are really cool. That's a cool idea to mix them two together. Huh. There they are. And the grass grenades. Those are cool. I like them. Let's look at the knuckle draggers. Come on, come on. There's always that one that just gets stuck. There we go, we'll fix these up just a little bit. Yeah, those are awesome. Those knuckle draggers look really cool. Can you see all those different colors in there? That's a pretty neat idea to actually mix those together. 
All right, those are cool. Cool, we'll get them in the water bath. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, so here they are. So the first row there is the Lure Works uh, motor oil. The second row is the MF motor oil. And the third row is them both mixed together. So here's the Lure Works up close. I think it came out awesome. The Lure Works has a little bit more brownish red tint to them. Uh, the MF Motor Oil has a little bit more like greenish tint to them, and you can also see some of the red peeking through there. It came out looking awesome, and then here they are both put together, and uh, yeah, turned out great. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one, everybody. So tell me down in the comments which one was your favorite. Do you like a mix? Do you like MF Motor Oil, or do you like Lure Works Motor Oil? But uh, let me know. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. If you wouldn't mind, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks again.